The second type of return path, and it doesn't apply to all businesses and all traffic sources, but it's, it's important, it's effective, and so it's worth mentioning, is exit offers. In other words, when someone visits your website and then they go to leave, what happens? Do you just let them leave or do you say, hey, wait, you know, before you go, I have something for you. Um, exit offers done improperly can be very pushy, very spammy, and very obnoxious. But if you do it the right way and using the right technology, Exit offers can be tremendously effective at getting the folks who are about to leave to reconsider that, to come back, or just making them a different offer that's potentially more appealing than the one that they saw the first time. Uh, and, and so this is no different, again, going back to the dating and relationship analogy. If you were to go to somebody and you were to just walk up to them and say, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, can I buy you a drink? If they say no at first, that doesn't mean that they don't like you. Maybe they're not thirsty. Right? Maybe they already have a drink, right? And it, but if you then say, oh, well, then would you like to dance? And they say, yes, okay, great. But you should have different offers that you can make to your list, different ways of positioning the offer that they've seen. Basically, you shouldn't give up on them just because they said no the first time. And that is what the exit offer allows you to do. So now that you understand kind of the why of the exit offer, uh, I want to go over to the next video. I want to show you some examples of exit offers that hopefully you can implement on your brand site.